Well, say if it's if it's two o'clock in the afternoon for them. I mean, I don't even know what Queensland does in their time zones anymore. Yeah, we do there. Yeah. So it's going to be around. It's going to be happening around the middle of your day. Something like that. Yeah. So the 9th, uh, it's 11.30 our time. Yeah. Alright, well, I think they'll be pretty safe. I, um, as, as long as it doesn't overlap with when uh, Joe wants us to play. So I I think I just got a phone call from Joe, so, so she's still at the radio station. So I don't know if you could tell me if I can prevail upon you to call her just to um, put the dot on that team. Um, there'll be, you know, there's, um, there's two, two components of the segment. There's my component, which is the solo singer, songwriter, guitar and voice component. And the second component is a duo from Canada called The Undesirables, who I'm touring with. Um, you'll need three microphones and two, uh, two guitar inputs, whether they be instrument microphones, which I would prefer. So that will be five microphones all up. Be continued. Thank you so much, Patty. Appreciate you going to the effort. Bye. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're kidding. It's still us. blinking. Well, maybe it's the news. G'day. How you doing, Bernadette? Great. Mm hmm. I'm over here. That's on, David over there. I'm here on the left hand side. On the Australian side. Yes. The we being uh, Sean Cotton and Corin Raymond uh, from uh, Toronto, a duo called the Undesirables. So uh, they are undesirable, and that's why we're hanging out. It, hello, it's good to be here, Bernadette. Brass and Bones, my third album uh, that was released uh, now coming on two years ago, so I'm putting out another record later this year, but uh, the waves have been so busy that I haven't had the liberty or time to write and play, so uh, this year is a great year because the, the uh, Vicky and Donna and Josh are getting in family and home building time, so uh, I'm uh, fending for myself. That's right, yeah, there's, there's a Perth connection there too. I was playing washboard for a group called the Ragabillies, and we had a heyday back in the, uh, the mid to late 90s in, uh, in Perth and uh, playing ragtime music. And uh, we had a break to play at the Port Ferry Festival. And um, so I was there playing washboard and uh, I just happened to be drinking a lot of Guinness in the Guinness tent where, the, uh, where Josh, Vicky and Donna were doing the same such. And uh, we were singing songs together and they said, hey, we can't afford to fly our drummer to WA, can you do it for us? And, and uh, that's how it started. Well, yeah, I mean, the good thing about it is I get to see more geology now as a musician than I do, ever did as a geologist, because I uh, travel the world so, so uh, you know, extensively that uh, 
you can always pull over to look at the Grand Canyon or uh, the Cliffs of Moor or Yosemite or the Rockies or whatever. So it's a you know I I love it as a uh, as a um, as an interest now. Uh, the geology and music is the as the professional passion. Yeah, well, I suppose the trick is not having any bills. So, uh, <laughs> so the uh, tear so, them up. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I don't, I don't own a house or anything. So, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not saddled with mortgage or anything. So, uh, I uh, just uh, bum around the world and uh, do the music thing instead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you mentioned the drinking. Um, we actually met at a, a music conference in Memphis, Tennessee, a couple of years ago, and. Uh, these conferences take place annually in the uh, Memphis Marriott and uh, musicians from all over the world and industry folks get together in folk festival folks and uh, David actually put together a beautiful little room called the Toonsmith's Room uh, which was a showcase room for, uh, for several songwriters and uh, we got to be part of it and we met David and fell in love with his music and uh, we became fast friends up there on the 16th floor, um, staying up all night together. And uh, that's where you make these uh, crazy decisions, like uh, bringing the undesirables to Australia. <laughs> so, you know, it was, it was, yeah, it was about that. 6 o'clock in the morning, I think, when the, you know, when the real business was getting done. <laughs> <laughs> the sun was involved at that point. It's a 24/7 operation there at those conferences. It really is mad. It's a bit of a military campaign. You just got you go in and you don't sleep for four days. It's really crazy, um, and a lot of fun. Mm. And as you were saying, you know, um, it's like a festival in that you artists get a chance to to meet and to and connect. And uh, things like this happen. We're here today because because of that. Tonight, windshield rain shine blur and the street like cars will slur by a master. The asphalt will shine down on black of my feet. I don't complain, the sound of the day is so sweet. The wind throws some rain against my window, rain like a friend. Call me outside to play, and he knows.